Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new tutorial, I am going to show you how to control a servo motor from an ESP32 board. So this servo is called SG90 and it's like a motor that we can rotate, but it can't rotate around itself. Basically, we can rotate it to a specific angle and create some cool projects. For example, you could make a clock and use this servo to indicate the hours, the minutes, and the number of seconds if you want. In this video, we'll be able to control it from the serial monitor. If we write 90 and hit enter, the servo goes to the 90 degrees. We can move it to a precise value like 45. So before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So in this video, you will need an ESP32 board and a servo motor. This is called SG90. But if you have another one, you could use it with the same way. All of the servos have three wires and we have to hook them up to the ESP32 board. So to hook up the servo to the ESP32 board, let's look at this diagram. Each servo has a ground wire. We have to connect it to the GND pin of the ESP32 board. For me, it is the brown wire. Then we have the middle wire, which is red. Goes to the VCC or the 5V pin of the ESP32 board. And that will power up the servo. This servo is a little bit small. You could power it up with 3 volts. That's why I'm going to connect the VCC to the 3.3V pin. And it is this one on top. And the last wire, which is yellow, goes to one of the GPIO pins so that we can control it from the ESP32 board. For example, you could use the GPIO pin number 19, uh, 4, and so on. As you can see, it's very simple to hook up. I highly recommend you to pause the video and connect the circuit. Then let's move on to the Arduino IDE so that we can control the servo from the ESP32 board. First, you have to install a library, and that's because servo motors are a little bit complicated. It's not like an LED that we can control using the digital write command. We have to use one of the libraries that makes it easier for you to control it. Let's go to Tools, then Manage Libraries, or you could click on this icon. Then let's search for the name, and it is called ESP32 then servo and it is this library by kevin i've already installed it make sure to install it using the install button then let's close this window first of all we have to include it using hash then include and let's enter the name make sure to write it with the same way the s here is uppercase then we can use this library to create a servo object that represents our servo motor. The type is servo. Then we can give it a name, like my servo. But we have to tell this object that we are using the pin number 18 to control the servo. And the way we do that is under the setup function, using my servo, which is the name of the object, then dot, and we have a function that is called attach which takes the pin number, I'm using 18. If you are using another number, make sure to enter it. Or let's create a variable on top using int. I'm gonna call it servo pin equals 18. And let's pass in the name instead, servo pin. Finally, we can change its angle using my servo dot, and the function is called write which takes an angle between 0 and 180 degrees, but this range can change according to the servo motor that you have. This one is a little bit small. It can go from 0 to 170 degrees. Let's start with the value 0 and add the semicolon. And that's pretty much it. So let's test our code. Before that, you have to select the board from this drop menu. I've already selected the node MCU32S and COM6 of the USB cable. 
and if you haven't watched my first video about the ESP32 board, make sure to check it out. I've talked about this board and how to change the Arduino IDE so that we can program it. We can hit upload. And if you get the message connecting, you have to hold down the boot key. And yeah, it starts. Let's try with another one, like uh, 90 degrees. The same thing, you have to hold down the boot key. And yeah, it's about 90 degrees. And before I finish this video, let's make a simple project. We are going to control the servo angle from the serial monitor that you could open up from this button. Basically, we're going to send a value between 0 and 180 degrees or 170. Then we are going to write it to the servo. If you haven't watched my video about the serial monitor, make sure to check it out. The link will be under the description. So first we have to begin the serial monitor. And let's remove this line of code. We don't need it. Let's write serial dot begin. This takes the baud rate. Usually we use 115, 200 for an ESP32 board. And under the loop function, which is called over and over again, we can check if we have received a message, which is the angle, using if serial dot available. So this is going to be true if we have a message. In such case, we can read it using serial dot read string but this returns a message or a string between double quotes to read a value or a number we use parse int then we can store it in another variable using int and let's call it angle equals the value that this function returns and finally we can write it to the servo using my servo dot write and let's pass in the value angle and that's simply our project but it is recommended to add a little bit of delay under the loop function because the function loop is called so fast we can wait 20 milliseconds then let's hit upload again and once it's done let's open up the serial monitor you could also go to tools then serial monitor before we send the value make sure to select no line ending because we don't have to add a new line once we send the angle let's try with 45 and yeah it's working so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video i hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and i will see you in the next one